Inferno is the third game from Radiant Games. And after two titles like Joy Joy and Crossfire, my expectations on Inferno were high. I was not disappointed. Inferno delivers. And it delivers in several areas. It's not only a solid twin stick shooter with cool graphics, it's also a game of discovery, with hidden pathways, locked doors and sudden level changes. The upgrade system adds a bit of RPG flair, where you buy upgrades for your character with hard-earned coins instead of experience. But let's start at the beginning. There's no story, this is pure shooting action. 30 levels await and you will get more powerful as you proceed. In the beginning you are alone, but soon you will get drones to accompany you and add significantly to your firepower. They also act as involuntary shields sometimes, but there is a real shield you can activate that is more effective and also covers the drones. As you travel you collect coins that lie around or are being left by enemies as they pass away. With these coins you can upgrade your weapon systems and other stats, buy drones, bombs or keys. The whole upgrading system is quite complex for a game of this kind. And it adds a lot of motivation. Don't worry though, everything is quite simple and there is little chance of frustration in the game. The difficulty curve is not very steep, but in the later levels enemies do tend to get tougher. And as you add abilities, so do the enemies. Sometimes even abilities you don't have. As long as you keep enough bumps in store, that doesn't matter. If you lose control, a simple hit on the left trigger will clear the screen and give you air to breathe. Careful though, bombs are rare and expensive in the shop. The only point in the game where bombs are not very helpful are the bosses. They are kind of gigantic versions of known enemies, but with their own weapon system. Quite tough and not that easy to destroy. The whole game took me a little under 2 hours to finish, but after finishing there is a new game plus mode that allows you to start with a full weapon setup. Or you can simply load your old save game and start a second go, with all your coins, drones and stuff still there. The plus mode is a little different than the original mode though. You'll see when you get there. I played the game alone, but I can only imagine how awesome it must be to play the title with up to 3 friends in local co-op. Can I recommend the title? Absolutely. The first two Radiant Games titles have a user rating of over 4 stars, which is quite impressive with a couple of hundred votes each, and Inferno certainly won't break with the tradition. It's actually my favorite game of the three. Adding to that the low price tag of just one dollar, or 80 Microsoft points, and 5 out of 5 stars for it seems almost low. So go and have a look at it, pretty sure you will love it as much as I do.